Good morning, everybody. We have some beaver sets to check this morning and uh, might grab another conibear bear and we might set another trap. We'll see. It was real cold all last night and uh, hopefully, hopefully we got something. We got something in the trap. We're gonna take and get some wood in this bugger. But I'm excited to go down there and check them and uh, see what we got. I uh, dumped a couple cups of high octane fuel in, into me this morning. Straight from Columbia. I'll tell you what, my heart's just a rattling in there, so I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's go, uh, let's get some wood in here and head down into the swamp. got that red fox carcass from a few uh, few days ago we're gonna go ahead and chuck out here somewhere for the critters Okay, let's go see what we got. Okay, so we're coming up on the first trap here. Looks like it's still setting to me. Yep. That one's still setting just fine. No action on that. Hopefully that means because we nailed it up here. still setting fine nothing in there oh it looks like we might strike out we got we got one more trap up here to check maybe these beavers aren't coming down through here as much as i figured they would be but Looks like we got something in this one. We got something. 
And it's a stupid muskrat. Huh. That's just our luck right there. Got a muskrat. Hey, what's up, Vern? I see I had a missed call from you. Yeah, I was seeing what, how many beaver you're up to. Two. Well, this is a good example of, uh, you know, that this trap was set, you know, totally legal here for New York State with a one, one prong trigger and I had it all the way over to the side with eight inches clearance here and I still caught a muskrat. So that stupid muskrat must have had all kinds of room to get through there without hitting that trigger, but it must have ran right into it. That figures.
Okay, so that's going to do it for uh, today's trap line check. Uh, it's pretty uneventful. We got that stupid muskrat and uh, just unlucky. Uh, I kind of have a different opinion now on that upper pond. So I went up there and looked at the beaver dam and looked at the hut and stuff. There's lots of otter sign on that hut and there's actually a hole in the active hut or what was active earlier this fall. There was a hole in the top of that beaver hut where the otters were going in and out. So it almost makes me think that those otters pushed all the beaver out of down here. And it kind of makes sense because the feed bed, there really isn't any feed bed over by that big hut where it used to be. And there's no, really no fresh beaver sign at all. Even in those runs that I set those 330s on, a lot of times you can see how active those runs are by looking at the bottom of the run and seeing... Uh, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but a lot of times those bottom of the runs are like hard mud or clay-like mud, where everywhere else is like black mud. When critters go through it over and over again, it takes all that soft black mud and uh, moves it away, so it's kind of a different type of mud. i probably not making any sense to people that don't trap, but uh, if you do trap, you know what I'm talking about. And those runs don't look that used. So I'm almost thinking that the beavers aren't there. And the otters booted them out of there. And uh, I had some questions in the last video why I, at, or why I said that I'm nervous with those otters being there. Here in uh, western New York, you're not allowed to trap otters at all. And that's actually why the trigger uh, laws got put into place with the one prong 8 inches over on your 330 to try to miss otters and stuff. Even though... I'm sure it happens to people every once in a while, they'll nail an otter. And uh, if you do that, you're supposed to, uh, obviously you can't keep the otter. you got to keep it within 40 feet or something of the trap and just leave it there. You know, uh, I know some people call the game war and they'll just come and take it or they'll just say leave it, you know, close to the trap somewhere. Anyways, you can't possess it. So uh, that's kind of too bad. I wish there was an otter season. We have a lot of them around. I think a lot more than people actually realize. Uh, and with that, with that, tr new, the new trigger regulations with the one prong, I just proved right there. You know, even muskrats, tiny little muskrats, one prong over to the edge will still run into that stinking trigger. I, I'm sure you miss most of them, but it's just funny that muskrat had all that room to you get through there, and it goes and hits the trigger. <laughs> Uh, like I said, last year I actually caught a mink in a 330 with a one prong. I mean, what are the odds? The thing had to like seen the prong and just like ran right into it. But uh, hopefully we have some fur tomorrow. Uh, I, I really am not very confident to be honest with you with these beaver sets because there's just there just isn't beaver sign over there like there usually is with all them otters. I think them beaver are pushed out of there, so we might have to resort to another pond here soon. But Appreciate everybody watching. Huge thanks to all the patrons of the channel. Like always, you guys are uh, really the heartbeat behind the channel, and I can't thank you enough for that support. And uh, if you guys want a discount code to any Arctic Shield gear, they have waders, boots, coats, pants. Actually, I'm wearing an Arctic Shield shirt right now. Uh, they're a pretty sweet company out of uh, Minnesota, and they know how to keep you warm out in the woods. So. See you checking traps tomorrow, and I also have some shed hunting, a shed hunting video coming up here really shortly. I actually found a shed today, number six on the year, so be looking out for that too.